that improves school culture by making community connections. So I am here with... I'm Mrs. Cottingham, the high school counselor. I'm Mrs. Douglas, the middle school counselor. And I'm Mrs. Schaefer, the success liaison. And we are going to talk about mental health today. So I'm just going to ask you guys some questions. Um, feel free to talk about whatever. Um, okay, so what would you guys like students and teenagers my age to know about mental health? I think it's important to know that we have mental health resources here at Twin Valley South and it's something that everybody needs to utilize. Uh, mental health looks different for everybody, but we have resources that can fit everybody's needs. Um, do you guys have any tips for kids my age on staying mentally healthy and maintaining a stable mental environment? Well, everybody would be a little bit different, but of course, getting a good night's sleep, eating healthy, having a structured routine. Monitoring your social media, yeah. only following positive people. Mm -hmm. Just overall, like, an emphasis on, like, good self-care. Mm -hmm. Like, whatever that looks like for you. So, like, onto that, what do you think causes mental health, mental health issues in teens? Well, that's a difficult question because, <clears throat> I mean, obviously what we know about mental health is, I mean, some kids just genetically are predisposed to mental health. So, like, you know, if your parent suffers from depression or something like that, like, you have a certain level of, like, predisposition. So, like, that's, I think, part of it, but then I think there are other things that contribute to it. Like, we see a lot, I mean, we're going to mention probably social media a lot today in this interview, but it does, it, it plays, I feel like, a huge role because it's just, it's so much of your, like, world. Mm -hmm. And I also think that self-care comes back into play with that as well. Mm -hmm. Students making sure that they're being healthy in all aspects of their life. Mm -hmm. I think the pressures that people have on them really can affect the mental health. Like if you're getting pressure or putting it on yourself or you're getting it from somebody else, and if you feel like you're not meeting standards and expectations, that can negatively affect you. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys see, like, how much change have you seen over the years in terms of, like, teenagers and their mental health and what kind of change would you like to see in the future with our generation? I would like the students to be, we kind of discussed this a little bit ago, but more empathetic towards others, knowing and seeing how other people feel, putting themselves in their shoes before they accuse of something or make comments about something. I would like everybody to just work on their communication skills. I think mental health has a lot to do with communicating, whether you're communicating your needs and how you're feeling, mm -hmm. um, but just stronger communication skills in person can really help this generation get away from the technology. Mm -hmm. And I think like just speaking to like the first part of your question, like how has it changed or does it look different? I know like I've been on staff here like a short period of time, like this is my fourth school year and it seems like since I have been here like we continue to kind of have to add or like up our mental health services for our students which is a good thing because we're providing like a really important service but at the same time like obviously we see that um, like the need kind of continues to, to rise like mm -hmm. so obviously that's a that's a little bit concerning but on the flip side we're excited about it because we finally have the support that the kids in our building need mm -hmm. What do you think kids can do to not avoid mental health issues, but kind of try to maintain a happy mental health? And with that, do you have any advice for somebody that would be struggling with mental health already? I think it's important to recognize and validate your feelings. Sometimes we get caught up in, okay, I feel like this. Why do I feel like this? I shouldn't feel like this. Nobody else feels like this. You feel how you feel and that's fine coming out and making sure that you're having a voice for yourself, advocating for yourself, and getting the help that you need, speaking to adults, talking to your trusted friends, but identifying what's going on with me and this is something that I need to seek help for. Mm -hmm. And I think we're speaking a lot about school and us being here at school, but it's important to keep parents in the loop. It's hard. I know we've all had our teenage years and we don't always want to talk to them about those things, but they're coming from a place of caring. and. Mm -hmm. That just adds stress, which can negatively affect your mental health if you don't share how you're really feeling with them. 
All right, well, that is all I have. Do you guys have anything else for the good of the call? I don't think so. Just We just encourage everyone, you know, if you are struggling or, you know, feel like you could use some support to just come down and speak to any one of us. Mm -hmm. And don't think all we do is talk about mental health sometimes. Yeah. We just kind of chill out, you take a break, and move on from there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. Thank you guys. Thank you for viewing this episode of the TVS Panther Den. If you like what you just viewed, feel free to click the subscribe button in order to be notified when new content is made available. Also check us out on Twitter at at TVS Den or Instagram at TVS Panther Den. Have ideas for new episodes? Email us at TVS Panther Den at tvs.k12.oh.us. And last but not least, stay safe and be South Strong.